and it has different areas of the pond but right here oh my god this is a monster guys what's going on guys welcome to another video and today we're gonna be talking about rattle traps because i'm a space kid astronaut whether or not i'm gonna pass you it's not the question i'm asking i'm asking when i get drafted making music till they asking like pussy passing all these women like drew Brees. get up on my hoop tee i'm loyal to my city not like katie on some new teams i put out for my family cause we hanging on like shoestrings change my habits up and now it's feeling like a mood ring now it's feeling like a mood ring ha, i've been intellectual i gotta get my dream on it's me my girl a million bucks i gotta put my team on this is a video you guys all requested and it's something that you know people have been requesting for a while and it's actually a video that I haven't made like a tip video about so it's gonna be interesting today this tackle Tuesday I'm gonna do quite different all right it's gonna be a little bit different than the normal tackle Tuesdays that I usually do and for that being said the reason is I'm gonna teach you how to throw a rattle trap today if you want another segment on all my rattle traps talking about the colors more and stuff like that then I can make a video over that talking about like all the rattle traps I have showing you guys all the rattle traps I have if you want to see that be sure to smash the like button leave a comment below if you want to see that and I'll make it happen for you guys for uh, tackle Tuesday coming up but as of today we're gonna to be talking about this bad boy right here the rattle trap so haven't made any videos on this and I'm very excited but to start everything off before we get out there by the water I'm gonna talk about the rod and reel setup so the reel I have <clears throat> is just a standard 7 1 to 1 gear ratio reel and this is just an Akuma Helios this is the TCS series and the rod is actually a 7 foot medium heavy and this is um, the Akuma TCS series as well and 7, 7 foot medium heavy I have like a fast action tip on it but I do like that backbone as well. You know, some people like to throw those rods where they're medium, extra fast, or medium moderates. Um, me personally, like I said in most of my videos, I really prefer a uh, seven foot medium heavy for a lot of the baits I throw. And you know, 75% of my rods are seven foot medium heavies. It's just a rod that feels really comfortable to me. Has a lot of, a lot of backbone and um, it's gonna have a lot of tip as well if you have that fast action, so that's really good. But we're gonna go out there and uh, I'm gonna show you some tips on how to throw this bad boy. And moving on to line, this is actually 15 pound cigar fluorocarbon. You can use 12 pound as well. I wouldn't really go below that. Me, personal preference, I like 12 to 15 pound fluorocarbon when it comes to a rattle trap. Before telling you guys how to work this bait and showing you some more tips on how to make this bait more versatile, I do want to talk about the time of year that I would be throwing this thing. You know, I can throw this year round. Most of the time I won't be throwing it during the summer when it's super hot outside. Um, that's just me, I usually won't. But, you know, early spring when that water temp's rising, you know, around 50 degrees, that's really good. Um, fall time, always going this fish or chasing bait. And also, one thing about this bait that's really great, like I said, I'm gonna make another video going more in depth about this stuff, is, this bait is so versatile. You know, I can go out here and throw this thing in very shallow water. I can also go throw it out deep as well, which not many people do, but it is a great way to catch more fish and not many people do it. So with that being said, the fish, you know, don't usually expect that. But, you know, I will go out and throw a rattle trap deep, but there's ways to work it. Like say I was gonna go out and throw this thing in deep water, I'm not just gonna go throw it over you know 25 foot and just start reeling it in that's just not how i'm going to do it there's going to be certain ways to work this bait so to be more productive in that deep water but shallow water you know i could throw it along this bank and just throw it out there and just start reeling it start hopping it that's perfectly fine but today i'm going to show you how to throw this in deep and shallow water and some more tips so you can get more bites all right guys like i said there's so many ways you can work this bait right here it's so versatile and it's really great in deep and shallow water. Most of the time when you think of a rattle trap, there's a fish right there, first cast. That's insane. <laughs> he came off. <laughs> I can't believe that, guys. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. That is absolutely amazing. I haven't even started talking about the tips about this bait and literally already caught a fish on this bad boy. Not a better way to start the video. All right, guys, I'm gonna get a release on this bad boy and we're gonna continue the fish. That was so cut off guard. I wasn't even gonna make a cast and literally just caught one first cast on this thing. That is amazing.
There he goes. I am not gonna complain right there with catching that fish first cast today. That is absolutely amazing. I was just gonna show you some retrieves on how to work it and literally caught one first cast. That, that is just insane. I hate being interrupted when making a video, but when it's with a fish catch, I'm not gonna complain at all. That is awesome. That's actually the first fish I've caught out here on a rattle trap. And just because I haven't really had time to come out here and throw a rattle trap, nor have I even put in the effort to throw a rattle trap out here. So let's go ahead and start off this video. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about the ways that I work this bait to catch more fish, to get more bites, to trigger, trigger those fish to bite this bait. So when fishing a rattle trap, most of the people, you know, they result in thinking, you know, shallow water bait. And you know, I can agree yes and no. I think this bait is very versatile in a way where it's great for shallow and deep water. Um, I wouldn't just throw this bait in shallow water. I would expand what you can do with this bait and actually throw it in some deep water as well and try it out. You know, most of these ponds, how they're staged up and most lakes in general, of course, all lakes um, or 99% of the lakes are going to have deep water. Most of these ponds, I'm going to be talking about a pond real quick just because I'm at a pond right now. It actually drops off right here with this little channel that's coming around. I mean, this pond's big and it has different areas of the pond, but right here, oh my God, this is a monster guys. This is a monster. I mean, an absolute pig. I mean, a pig. I can't even move them. I can't even move them. There's no way this is a bass. There's no way this is a bass. There is no way. There is no way. Oh my God. Oh my God. <gasps> he came off. Oh my God. I cannot believe that. That was a four pounder. That was a four pounder. That was a four pounder. I was not planning on making a fishing video today. I was planning on making a tip video and these fish, I mean, I can't help it, but they give bites right now. I cannot believe I just lost that fish. I had a bad feeling he was gonna come off. I had a bad feeling he was going to come off right there. And that is a perfect, I'm not even mad guys, to be honest with you. I caught that first fish and with resulting in me just fishing here for a few, min few minutes <laughs> and already hooking into two fish. That is just insane. I knew when I hooked that fish right there that I was no joke. That was a big boy. And I go on and start this video by saying I usually don't throw this bait in the summer. And of course the summer's ending right now, you know, it's, it's approaching fall. But it's sure enough, it's still summertime. That was the perfect example of how I'm going to show you guys to retrieve this bait. I, that couldn't have been better presented to you guys unless I landed that fish to show you guys how to work this bait and how I'm going to be working it. So exactly how I was working that bait, you'll throw this rattle trap out there. You'll let it hit the bottom. This pond's fairly shallow and I'm just going to kind of yo-yo it up just like that so you yo-yo it let it hit the bottom yo-yo it let it hit the bottom and me personally i'm just gonna it's, it's just like a stroke stroke so boom 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 let it hit the bottom that fish literally hit it when that bait was sink so when that bait was falling that's usually the time that you're going to get those bites and that was actually a key thing that i was going to talk about today and it ended up happening right there on camera that is insane so when that bait falls, it usually just flutters down. And most of the time, I would say around 75% of the time, that's when you're gonna get your bites. So when that fish was flutter, when that bait was fluttering down, that's when that fish ate it. So I sat there, I was reeling my bait. I sat there, popped it, the bait fluttered down. And when I was reeling up my slack, he had it in his mouth. And um, sadly that fish had to come off, but that is just such a productive way to get a lot of bites on a rattle trap. And personally my favorite way to work a rattle trap when you come out here on these ponds even on lakes you know you have the bank right here just right on the edge of the bank very shallow you can always throw that rattle trap you know parallel along with that bank right here 
as you can see that's a very shallow this is a very shallow bank right here it doesn't drop off once you get out there that's where it's going to start dropping off but it's very shallow right here like my rattle traps hitting the bottom and i'm just going to be reeling it um reeling it i'd pop it some give that bait a little bit of action so right here in the shallow water like i said just reel it give it a little pop keep reeling it give it a little pop most of the time when you're throwing on the bank you know you're you're most likely going to have some structure there and my favorite structure of the fish with a rattle trap is grass. Grass is my number one, and this is one of my number one baits to fish in grass if I want to be throwing a moving bait. You know, a chatter bait's really great, um, but a rattle trap is a really great bait over the edge, uh, on the edge of some grass and also over the top of some grass. What's really great about this rattle trap that's not like any other crankbait is, you know, I can throw this thing right in that grass. So say I have some submerged grass under the water and I want to be throwing this rattle trap, I'll throw it up in that grass and I'll just stroke this bad boy out of it and let it sink. Stroke it again, let it sink. And what it's gonna cause is that rattle trap is sinking in that grass. And even if you do get a little bit of grass on this rattle trap, when you rip it up like that, it's gonna be throwing that grass off. But not only is it throwing that grass off, it's gonna be popping this rattle trap out of the grass and those fish are just gonna annihilate it. I couldn't tell you how many big fish I've caught doing that. One lake that I have caught a ton of fish my first college tournament ever was on Lake Seminole this last year. And in practice, uh, two days in a row, I caught around 20 pounds um, on a rattle trap. And I was doing this same exact technique where I'm throwing that bait out there over some submerged grass and ripping this bad boy. And obviously there's no submerged grass right here, but that technique of me ripping this bait I use just in open water like in ponds and on lakes as well. You know, most of the time those fish are gonna stage up. You might go fish a point or you go fish a rocky bank or whatever you're gonna be fishing. And it doesn't have to have grass on there for you guys to use this technique. You know, it just, in general, like this pond out here, it does not have much cover at all. Throwing this bait out there in that deep water, as you can see, this channel comes right through. It's deep in the middle, it's shallow on the banks. I'm only throwing it out there in the middle or throwing it on the other side yo-yoing this bad boy and most of the time this fish are just going to be sitting right out down in the middle of that channel and that's when this fish are going to come out and destroy this bait if you guys are wondering what type of rattle trap i'm throwing this is actually an x caliber one knocker this one's got like a goldish chrome finish onto it so when that sun hits especially when the sun's setting like right now it's just absolutely amazing the color on it is just flashing it looks really great in the water and as you can tell if i hold the hooks right here and shake it you hear that you're not hearing a lot of rattles in there. So that, that's, that's one thing. This Excalibur rattle trap is called a one knocker. And a one knocker rattle trap pretty much has one big weight in it. So as you can tell, when I shake it, you hear one clack. And you know, most of the time, especially in the winter when those fish are very lethargic, that was very bad. But especially in the winter when those fish are really lethargic, that can be a great bait because most of the rattle traps out there, they're gonna have a lot of rattling going on inside of that bait. And sometimes those fish are very slow, very lethargic, and they don't want that. So that's when I pick up a one knocker and start throwing it. Most of the time, I would say around 75% of the time, I'm throwing a one knocker um, rattle trap. Me, that's my personal preference. I don't believe they make these Excalibur ones anymore, um, but if they do, and if you can get your hand on some of them, they're a phenomenal bait. I mean, I've caught so many fish on the Excalibur ones overall. I mean, you can also throw a red eye shad. Um, the thing I like about a red eye shad is, you know, the cost of them, you know, it's very, very affordable. You know, they're not too expensive. These Excaliburs will be slightly expensive, but you're getting your money's worth out of them. And these one knockers are just absolutely amazing. One other company that makes a great one knocker is Booyah. Booyah makes another great one knocker rattle trap. And I've caught a lot of fish on that one as well. I actually faded towards that one a little bit more because they're a little bit more inexpensive and they're actually easier to find. All right, that's enough of the yo-yoing technique. Say you're wanting to go down the bank and you're wanting to fish the bank. Those fish are up very shallow. Say you just threw that bait in that shallow water. It's also just a great way just to reel that bait. Pop it every once in a while. And this is one of those things where you guys just can't take the tips that I'm giving you right now and apply those to wherever lake that you're at and go, be as productive as you know I possibly could have today if I was fishing all day or it's all on how those fish are going to act that day 
Like not every day those fish are gonna be super active where you're over here popping this thing and reeling it really fast and reeling it all crazy and they're gonna bite it because they're not gonna bite it like that every day. And that's your decision to figure out when you're out there on the lake is figure out how those fish want that bait. So as you could tell, the bites that I got was just kind of popping the thing, but I wasn't really doing it too slow. You know, I was popping it and I'd reel my slacker real quick, reel it a little bit, pop it again. And that's how I got, you know, all three of those bites pretty much. It wasn't one of those really finesse times where I'm throwing that rattle trap out there, let it hit the bottom. And, you know, I'm literally stroking it, letting it sink down, waiting a few seconds and then doing that again. I mean, it was pretty, pretty instant when those fish were eating it. it. It was no joke. One of my overall favorite things about a rattle trap is for me, I'm a very aggressive fisherman. I'm very fast. I love to fish fast. It's just how I am. Um, every once in a while, you know, I'd love to pick up a worm or a jig if they're eating it real good, throw it out there, or a drop shot, as you guys know. Me personally, I'd much rather be throwing a bait, reeling it in really fast, and trying to target those aggressive fish. Um, the good thing about the rattle trap that not many other crankbaits you can do with is you can pretty much burn this thing, you can slow it down, you know, you can work it moderately, you can jerk this thing up and down, let it fall, you can stroke it, you can yo-yo it, there's so many different ways you can work this bait, but it's all on how those fish are biting that day. That's why when you guys are watching this video, I expect you guys to go out on your lake, try these techniques that I showed you to try to catch more fish on a rattle trap and apply those towards your day. But if that's not working, maybe little small transitions or small little switches to change with that bait. Like how I was talking about throwing it out there and yo-yoing it and then reeling it and yo-yoing it, really, 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 yo-yo it. Maybe you do it even slower because this fish are more lethargic. Maybe throw that bait out there, yo-yo it, let it hit the bottom, let it sit there for a second. Rip it back up, reel your slack, let it sink. Rip it back up. It's just depending on how those fish are acting that day, how those fish are acting, if they're gonna be aggressive or they're gonna be really lethargic. But overall guys, I hope you got some tips out of this video over the rattle trap. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button and please leave a comment below and also subscribe if you haven't already. I can't thank you guys so much for the support. Um, I can't thank you guys enough. You guys are awesome. I love you guys so much. And um, I really wish I would have got that big fish in the, in the, on the bank on the boat. I wish I would have got that big fish on the bank because that thing was about four pounds and that hurts. And he just choked it right on that drop, just boom. Well, I want you guys, I challenge you guys to go tie you a rattle trap on and next time you're out in the water go throw that bad boy and see if you can catch some fish on it if you do be sure to tag me on instagram so i know i taught you guys something from this video but thank you guys so much for watching share this video with your friends and i'll catch you guys in the next video I think that 24-7 an understatement to my day-to-day -day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a 